Greetings, it's your girl Biop Cycle. Today is the 5th of September, 2019, and this is hashtag what we're talking. I have been currently reading Food and Nutrition for Everyday Kid, and I've been sharing each chapter with you, and today's chapter is about the food pyramid. Now, we have to remember that this book was written back in 1999. That's over 20 years ago. And... Well, it was published in 1999, so a lot has changed in 20 years. I'm going to show you the food pyramid that they have in this one, and I'm going to tell you the difference between 1999's food pyramid and 2019 food pyramid. One thing that is important is they talk about the 3-5 plan. The 3-5 plan is there is three keywords and then there's five basic food groups. Your three keywords are moderation variation and balance your five basic food groups is grains fruits vegetables dairies and meats so let's get started you can see in 1999 this food guide pyramid has grains being the most at the bottom fruits and vegetables is next dairy and meats and this little bit on the top is your oils and your fat and those in today's society in 2019 society those come inside all your others so there's kind of like no need to have it on top and the difference between this food pyramid and today's food pyramid is grains have been moved up to the second level and fruits and vegetables have been moved down to the bottom level and the reason for it is they say we need more fruits and vegetables and then we do grains and that these two top ones should be in moderation and the bottom one we're up today not in this one today should have variety and all of it should be done in a balance so to recap the five basic fruit groups that they have is grains meats dairies fruits and vegetables now I feel that because we are so individual and our metabolism is individual um, everything about us our DNA and all that is very individualized that you have to pick and choose what type of diet fits you you know when I say diet I don't talk about I'm not talking about like oh happy you know no carbs, South B diet, like it's none of that. So when we talk about our food intake, it's called a diet. So your diet is very individualized and based off of your needs. You know your body the most. There's some people who are vegans. There's some people who are vegetarians. There are some people who are not. And so based off of that, you have to pick and choose which area on the food pyramid that you're gonna follow in but you're not gonna follow. So that's totally up to you. I'm not an expert. I'm not here to tell you how to eat. I'm just here to share with you what they were saying. So back then they were saying we should have a lot of grains. Now, 20 years later, they're saying we should have way more fruits and vegetables. And if you looked at the videos that I had done prior to this, you would understand that having a solid balance between our minerals and our vitamins is a really important essential thing because they play together to help over a hundred functions in the body we learned about macro um, nutrients which is a large amount of nutrients water we learned about micro nutrients which is your your vitamins and your minerals and so to take that into consideration when we're looking at the food pyramid it's very important that you for yourself find out what the foods that you intake offers your body you have to find out for yourself that's one of my biggest thing is finding out like if i eat this apple what does this apple have in it that's going to be a benefit to my body if i mix this apple with this lettuce, what is the combination gonna do? Because what does lettuce hold as far as having a, a vitamin or a mineral? What does the apple hold that has a vitamin or a mineral? 
and how are they gonna work together? When I combine these foods together, how are they gonna work inside of me? And so that's the challenge I give to you for yourself. And that's pretty much it. Some of this stuff is just like really short. So these videos are really short, super short. Um, but I hope it's very beneficial to understand that, you know, over time we learn things and things have changed. Um, I believe people are being more health conscious and the meat industry is not so much leading our media based off of what we need. There's people who actually are vegan and survive and have no diseases based off of the fact of not eating meat. But granted, once again, I understand it is not for everybody. There's some people who have to eat meat. There's some people who could be a vegetarian, have no problem in taking dairy. I know for me personally, when I intake dairy, I have problems with mucus, being congested. Excuse me, that's just if I eat cheese. If I eat eggs, I have problems with itching and, and being bloated. If I drink milk, I have extreme problems with my asthma. It inflares my asthma. So I do my best to stay away from dairy and I just find my calcium and vitamin D in other places. Those are not the only places that we can get these things. So with that being said, I hope the 3-5 plan was something that you can use. So let's go over really quick. Three keywords, moderation, variation, and balance five food groups dairy meat vegetables fruits and grains until next time peace